Hi, welcome to Pausing for Prayer. Pastor Lori here, pastor of the Ferriton and Newport United Methodist Churches. I'm glad you decided to take a moment and pause and pray with me. If you have any uh, prayer requests that you'd like to add to our list, list it in the comments or email me at Pastor Lori a Mitchell at gmail.com. Now that I got that out of the way, let's get started with our devotion. Today it's called A Son's Wish to Serve from the Upper Room. The scripture is from Acts 20, verse 35. The Lord Jesus himself has said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. The story goes, uh, When my son began to have severe back pain, seven years ago nothing helped him. After dealing with the pain for several years, he confided in me that the pain was becoming so debilitating that he would one day no longer be able to work in his job providing social services for teens. Dad, he said, through tears of pain, I want to serve in this world, not to be served. A few months later, doctors discovered he had a massive tumor. He had a stage four sarcoma. None of this, however, kept him from putting others first. He accepted his diagnosis and calmly asked his doctor how long he had. Four months later, as he was dying in the hospital, he consistently turned his focus on others. Whenever a nurse, doctor, or visitor asked him, how are you? He always answered, I'm hanging in there. How are you doing? And he stood in awe. I stood in awe of his courage and love for others. In today's quoted verse, Paul shared Jesus' word with early Christians and said it is more blessed to give than receive. God calls us to serve one another. And my son did that until the day he died. His last words were the Lord's Prayer we prayed together in the hospital room. His faithfulness has brought comfort and peace to my soul and has strengthened me in my faith. And the thought for the day is how can I serve God today? It doesn't have to be in big grandiose things. It could just be smiling at somebody, holding a door um, for someone behind you. Uh, all those things, just the little things that add up. And uh, we need to be aware of what God wants us to do. Sometimes that's not always easy. In a way of prayer request, I want to lift up uh, ongoing requests, those with COVID, uh, health care providers that are dealing with COVID, uh, also, we have uh, several uh, lists from either church of people who are regular member, unspoken requests, children going back to school and their teachers. We have a list of those with cancer. Uh, unfortunately, that list grows all the time. Of uh, Healing for Rob Hill, Gail, and Beth. For Josh Wolf and Matthew McAllister, who are serving our mil in our military. Dina has bulging disc in her back. Lee, we have been praying for him to have heart surgery. Well, now he's having some kind of issue that's preventing the surgery, like with his teeth, I believe. So that's been postponed from what I understand. So pray uh, for his situation. Uh, for those that are mourning, especially Betty, uh, for Wanda, who's having some health issues, for Kenny Hildreth, who has COVID. Let's see. For... Pastor Frazier, we've been praying for him. He had the broken shoulder. Uh, someone had a, like a nice meeting with him uh, and they just wanted to lift him up. We have been praying for Ray, who had back surgery this week from the Newport Church. Uh, he has had a good surgery, may come home today, so pray for Angie. Uh, also, I'm going to lift up Wheezy because she was kind of confused last week. Baby Jason was having health issues. Jane, who has fluid on her lungs. Yeah, write that down wrong. Fluid on her lungs. Also, Wayne at the Newport Church and his wife, Sierra, are officially finishing or having an open house, so their home is ready. So just want to thank God for that. Let's see. I think that was everybody. All right, let's go to God in prayer this afternoon. Lord, we thank you that we can come to you and pray, and we have been entrusted with people's concerns while we have concerns of our own. So right now, I would like to lift up ongoing concerns, maybe someone that's watching online or 
someone that just didn't, couldn't share fully what they wanted to say of their concern. You know people's hearts, Lord. And so if, I pray that you would touch anyone that's listening, that you would hear their heart. But we also want to lift up those that have COVID, especially Kenny Hildreth. And we also want to lift up our health care providers, that you would be with them, keep them safe, and give them your encouragement. I want to lift up from the Ferret Church, Mrs. Blue, Miss Mary, Mrs. Lanning, Reds, Bev, Jenny, Hope Edwards, and Connie. From the Newport Church, Lord, I lift up Pastor Frazier, Louise, Ed, Ruth, Chase, Cheryl, Charlie, Lawrence, John Laws, and Jane Bowen. I also want to lift up Wayne, who broke his ankle. Lord, these are dear people to our church family. I ask that you would be with them, comfort them, and bring them your peace and healing. Lord, I also want to lift up all children and parents as they prepare for the new school year. Be with our teachers and our administrators. Give them an extra, extra sense of patience and peace as they know that, don't know what the new year brings. And they're trying to prepare. So give them your wisdom. I also want to lift up those with cancer, especially Charlie, Sherry Fisher Riley, Lawrence, Nick, Jennifer, Mike, JC, Janice, and Stacy. Whatever stage of recovery, Lord, I, I lift them up to you and I pray for healing for them. I also pray for healing for Rob Hill, for Gail, for Beth. I ask that you would heal their body, soul, and mind. I lift up Josh Wolf and Matthew McAllister to you. I pray that you would keep them safe and give them your wisdom. For Dina, I ask for healing for her back. For Lee, who's had this uh, setback where he can't have surgery yet for his heart, I pray that you would uh, help remedy all those situations with his teeth and alleviate any other concerns that he has before the surgery. I also want to lift up those that are mourning, especially Betty, as she's had to go back to work now, she's trying to navigate a new normal without her husband. But we've lost a lot as a country, as, in, as a world to COVID. There just seems a sense of, of loss or a lot around me. So I pray for comfort for those that I, I interact with. I also want to lift up Wanda, who's having health issues. I pray for your loving touch to be on her life. We also want to lift up uh, Leanne's family uh, she that she passed I also want to lift up uh, Jason who's uh, this little baby who's having health issues I pray for healing for him I pray for patience and your just peace and for you to intervene for his parents uh, financially and emotionally that you would just be there for them I lift up Wheezy, who was confused this past week, and I pray that she's doing better today. I lift up Ray to you, and I pray that he's able to come home soon. But when he does come home, that everything's ready. And then I prepare Angie for uh, just having to take care of being a caregiver. She's helped him with other surgeries, so she knows kind of what to expect. So I pray just for comfort for her, that everything fall in the place that she needs to get ready. And if there's any other uh, quest that I've missed, I saw Wayne and his wife are having this uh, housewarming. Uh, they finally got their new house ready. So I thank you for that blessing. We're reminded of, of good in the world and good things that do happen. And so I thank you for that. I lift up both of our services tomorrow and all the churches in our area. They would be with our pastors and our leaders that you would give us your wisdom and that we be a blessing to all that either see our services or come in person and keep us all safe as we meet together as COVID uh, is spiking. And we ask this all in your name. Amen. Well, I, like I mentioned, there is church 9 a.m. in Fairton at 11 a.m. Newport. If you don't feel comfortable coming out, that's understandable. You can watch us online on our YouTube, my YouTube channel or on the church's channels. So take care, be good, and I'll see you later.